Hey, John Reed, JDOD.com. This is our first official conference shoot the day of the conference. We survived the lines, Phil Wayne, right? We were, <laughs> we're in. <laughs> that was crazy, but good coffee while we were waiting. Good coffee and good conversation. Mm -hmm. So let's kick it off. Um, why are we here? Well, I think a lot of people are here for the wrong reason, actually. I think a lot of people are here because they think that cloud is all about taking their existing IT, putting it onto a brand new infrastructure that is kind of, quote, cloud, um, that yeah. the vendors are here ready to sell to them. Uh, and a lot of people, I think, are going to be, if they do commit to buy as a result of being at this show, are going to be wasting money on kits that they don't need. So where's the real value in cloud? Is there value? If so, where is it? The, the value in cloud is A, using uh, infrastructure that is really built on highly repeatable commodity platforms, uh, highly automated platforms, and built at such scale that for most enterprises, it's not economical for them to be doing this themselves. Uh, they need to be using third-party cloud providers. And a lot of the conversation about cloud is all about infrastructure, whereas actually most of the enterprise spend on cloud is an application layer. And the biggest benefit that you'll get with cloud today is by adopting applications that are built on proper multi-tenant cloud infrastructure. Mm. Now, you're moderating on a panel at this event. Are, are these the kinds of issues you're going to dig into? Well, I think so. I mean, the, the, it's future of software. Um, so we're, the panel tomorrow is going to be about uh, what, what does the software industry look like in 10 years' time. Um, and I think one of the things we're going to be exploring is, is, is there even going to be a software industry? Can the whole meaning of software uh, is, um, uh, sorry, I'm just uh, hesitating there because someone, someone beat me in my phone. Yeah, yeah. I, should, I should have muted it before we started talking, but there we go. Um, so I, I think that um, uh, the software industry is going to look completely different in mm. 10 years' time uh, in the sense that software, I think, becomes part of the business infrastructure. Mm. And a lot of companies won't even buy software at all because they'll just buy services that run on top of software that someone else operates and runs. Right, and then there's this whole platform as a service notion. Do you believe in the, f in the view that having a robust ecosystem of add-on apps and developers is a key part of cloud value? Um, well, yes, I, I think we're going to see a lot more aggregation of different functionality uh, from different players coming together and being presented by, uh, you know, Gartner talks about cloud service brokers, and we're not quite sure how this is going to, to happen, uh, how it's going to work out, but I think that we're going to get to a point where uh, a lot of different functionality from different providers is packaged up and delivered on to end users. Okay, so give me the bottom line. If you're, if you're a customer here, what kinds of hard questions should you be asking to really make sense of this during the next two days? Um, well, the first thing you've really got to hone in on is what is the operational cost of this infrastructure? If you're buying infrastructure, how much is it going to cost me to run this? Because what is happening with all this private cloud stuff that's going on at the moment is that people are being sold highly uh, expensive uh, software licenses, hardware infrastructure with management capabilities that are really totally irrelevant in a cloud environment. Uh, and you know, people are putting this stuff in and they're suddenly discovering that what they've got can never run economically, can never deliver the benefit that they thought they were getting in the first place. Mm -hmm. So you have to look very carefully at what, the, um, uh, at, at, at what the running costs are going to be and are you really getting it down to the levels that people like Amazon and Google are able to provide. <laughs>